I'm thinking I'm live, which is pretty, pretty neat. <laughs> Dude, it's been a while. It has been a while. I'll tell you that. So, uh, hello everyone who is listening, uh, tuning in to the b and broadcast of 12th of November 2020. Uh, I am the host b for this stream, I'm going back to the basics, going back to the roots of what makes B&O b and um, And to that, I have a lot of unanswered questions, some of which are unanswered for myself. <laughs> so, <laughs> what's up? How's it going? Uh, so, I'm hoping that this can be a bit of a casual stream where... I will basically just be uh, playing through this game, just chatting, just describing what's been going on with me, as well as just things in the world. I think that's kind of how I want to go about uh, everything, uh, rather than trying to, you know, try and be someone who I'm not really. I'm going to try and just be me. Just, just going to try and be as I, I don't know how to really describe it. Uh, calm ish we'll see how we go a uh, person who plays the game and commentates over and describes the world as they see it uh, so first of all I'm gonna tell my laptop to not turn off the display after 15 minutes and that way I'll be able to see what's going on so I think you guys probably want to just see me get into it so let's go ahead with it uh, so Today, I am playing Brazilian Jump to Brazil. Unfortunately, those Brazilian flags do not appear on my chat. They probably should. They appeared on my laptop, so... I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> so, today I'm playing Cruising USA. Uh, some of you may remember, 12 years ago, sometime in, I think it was June, uh... I don't even... Is that actually the Brazilian character? Or is that... I don't even know. Some of you may remember, on uh, sometime in June 2008, I uploaded to this quaint little YouTube channel that had just like a random YouTube poop. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I'm pretty sure this is a gold tournament. This is, you'll, you'll see how poorly I drive and you'll definitely go, oh, yeah, yeah, that's, um, that's definitely it. Uh, first of all, I'm going to... Uh, adjust some controls because I tested this earlier and I was like, yeah, I do not drive like uh, any of this. Like, just, just, A, how about that? It's got such a classic vibe though. It's so good. I love it. Oh. <laughs> So, yeah, I uploaded this to my, uh, my channel, and I just played through this for, I think I just played, um, oh, I might just turn the game down a little bit, it's overwhelming me a little bit, there we go, um, I think I played this game for, uh, for 15 minutes, I basically played the, uh, the race against, uh, whatever mode, uh, hit the end and called it a day, which, it's kind of surprising, because that's, effectively what I'm going to be doing today. Um, maybe not just once, maybe it said the line. <laughs> That's the one. So, yeah, from what I remember, first of all, I've never actually, like, properly played Cruising USA. In that video, there's, like, a handful of things that I really don't like. One of them is that I immediately ran a freaking game shark cheat because project 64 the emulator that everyone used in 2008 to play nintendo 64 games everyone would play with well not everyone would play with cheats but it had like uh, cheat assets on it um oh it didn't it didn't hit the controls did it it didn't hit the controls nice oh i gotta select the thing and then go controls oh, nice Good stream, good stream. Uh, yeah, it, um, I don't know why I picked this game, uh, to even start off my channel. Um, I think I picked it just because 
Uh, I was in that nice piratey mood. The Wii was out. This was a Nintendo 64 game that I hadn't bought for it. Um, and I just went ahead and played it. Uh, I don't really have too much to say about it. I don't have any, like, ties to Cruising USA otherwise. I don't have any, um, any real, like, uh, attachments to the Nintendo 64. If anything, this game, uh, harkens back to an era that I never was a part of. I never was a part of the, um, uh, the arcade kind of style of games, uh, which pretty much started fizzling out, um, shortly after this game came out, once, once consoles just began having really long, really long games, and games where you'd save and, you know, you'd start your progress back again, the form of an arcade game really isn't, uh, as, oh my gosh, I'm trash. <laughs> the form of an arcade game doesn't really pull off as much. Again, yeah, I still got no idea why I played it. But I do remember playing with a very uh, weird cheat, which uh, may have uh, unleashed some debug values on the car, because things definitely didn't look right. Um, Project 64, of course, was a very... Um, it was reliable in the sense that you could play a game from start to finish, and there weren't too many games that didn't play start to finish, but there was a number of graphical inconsistencies. I think the, uh, the biggest one... That, that is first place, really? They always, like, catch up really hard, like, when you're in front of them. But then, like, when you let them go, they will screw up so, so bad. I do remember that. <laughs> uh... Now I remember this, like, wicked turn at the end, because it ends right here. You've gotta be kidding. You've gotta be kidding. The other thing I remember is that if you don't come first, the game just gets you to drive... Uh, it, it just gets you to go back... Oh. I think I got my mic a little loud. Um, it just gets you to, to run the race again until you get first, which is great for casual playthroughs. Um, oh no, big rip! Freaking this guy, he stole my lead. Stole my lead at the end. Yeah, the AI cheats so hard. It, they will rubber band so much, or they crash while they're significantly ahead. I played this earlier though, so maybe me crashing earlier was not great. So the good thing is, yeah, like if I just start again, I'm just back at this race. There's no huge biggie for, for messing up, just a bit of time waste. Uh, so yeah, um, yeah. No, I, I remember with Project 64, um, like there's a there's that effect in there when the the map comes in, and it effectively copies the the screen to a buffer, which it then uses as a background um, to create that effect. Uh, Project 64 I had no idea how to handle that for many games, so a lot of games didn't look visually correct. I'm currently running this on the, the Parallel emulator, um, which uh, has done me wonders. Oh, it looks really like on point. It even does the, um, the, the super sampling kind of thing where it's outputting to like a 320 by 240, but it's really rendering-ish at like 640 by 480. It depends. It depends what the game feels like. Um, that's why nearly every emulator for, for uh, the Nintendo 64 either like you get a really low resolution display, which looks quite odd, or you get a, um, a high resolution display that seems to have weird filtering on the, you know some text and textures here and there. Uh, this strikes a nice happy medium, which is more what I believe the Nintendo 64 looks like. I've never played Cruising USA on official hardware, but uh, there is something weird going on with the oncoming cars, or the game's going really easy on me and it's not unleashing this guy behind me. I think we're almost at the end. So, yeah, why I picked this game, I don't really know, but uh, one thing I can say is more why I even tried doing uh, Let's Plays um, to begin with, and I guess I might go through a little bit of that. Um, so, it... It kind of started, um, <laughs> this is when I go for the whole life story of how I was bullied as a kid and all that stuff, but I, I did have, like, some bullying issues, but I feel like they were either intermittent or, uh, short-lived. 
because I don't remember getting bullied too much in high school, which was right after I started doing some Let's Play stuff, so I don't really think bullying was a big part of it. I think it was more that I was very kind of focused on, like, you know, what's the trends going on on the internet. And uh, in, like, 2007, I'd followed a couple of, like, really early, uh, like, Let's Play channels. So the obvious one is Proton John. He's absolute classic. If anyone was into Let's Playing in like 2008, 2009, they probably had watched uh, some of his stuff. Uh, another one which I had uh, watched and I don't think he ever took off, I think he's still like less than 10,000 subs and surprisingly still uploads, is a fellow by the name of uh, Quadraxis14. He named himself, I think, after uh, a boss from Metroid Prime 2 and I had never known that until I played that game. Um, so that, that was good. Uh, I, I went back to watch some of his videos, and yeah, like, they, he did have that kind of, like, early internet culture, um, vibe to him. Just, it, it was nice, and very, very authentic, just in terms of, like, he's a guy who sits down and he just plays a game, and that's, that's all that he does. Um, that, that sounds, that sounds like I'm cutting him short, but it's more that, um, he's not trying to be something that he's not, uh, particularly enthusiastic about. And I found that that was something I found, um, when I kept playing, uh, I kept trying to one-up myself with, uh, the Let's Plays. There was, uh, a certain degree of playing games that I was, um, I had played before and I wanted to show off. Stream name hasn't updated. Uh, let me see if I can pause and click that. I'm certain I had up there. If, if the stream name hasn't updated, that's a bit of a move for me. Classic, I love that. And if I hadn't got the game, then people aren't searching the name of the game as well. Oh, that, that was it as well. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I had, I'd felt that I wanted to up myself more and more. So, initially, I do agree that unregistered Hypercam 2 uh, video game stream... It wasn't even a stream, it was just like me playing games in an emulator with obvious emulator uh, graphical errors and things like I had a frame rate on screen, I didn't care, I was using save states, I was using um, rewinds, I was doing all the dirty stuff, which I'm not the biggest fan of now. I've actually, I've somehow, somehow I've become much more of a purist, whereas a lot of other people um, are willing to, that I know of who play games on emulators, uh, they're willing to go, oh, like it's a PS1 game, oh, I'll increase the disc, like, speed so that it uh, loads games quicker, or I'll, I'll, play at higher resolutions and stuff like that. And I'm kind of a bit of a purist, like, now, somehow, I have no idea how that happened. Um, there's still a certain level of, you know, extensibility. I do like, um, things like the, the Retro Achievements, uh, initiative and that kind of stuff, and, you know, RetroArch in general, just highlighting more things, but, uh, generally, Poopy Ginga? Maybe. <laughs> um, but I definitely, uh, I found that, yeah, like, playing a game in its original form to some extent, uh, even if it's on the 27-inch monitor, is, uh, still, still, you know, th there's a spot of, uh, an era that I never got to really experience, because, yeah, I started playing games, um, uh, I'd say late-ish PlayStation 1, I never owned a Nintendo 64, um, and then I started playing, like, PlayStation 2 era, onwards um so so this kind of stuff you know i, I started to go hey I'd, I'd rather play games more in their original forms um i can't remember what was like the very first game that i do believe i played very legit um because i played uh like donkey kong country i played uh all the mario lands on game boy all of that and every single one of them i played very you know, illegitimately, like, I would just spam things. I think I, actually, I, I played, um, Mario Land only with an infinite lives code. Um, and I, I, I watched back on it, I was like, man, I was so open about, like, cheating on this as well, like, which is crazy for me. Um, so, but yeah, eventually, I don't know, it was around the point, I remember I played Metroid Prime in 2010, and at that point I had, like, a, at least a capture, um, setup that I could use. I was playing it on official hardware, and, and I feel like Metroid Prime was a game that I could play where, uh, 
where um I could uh you know just just know it. I didn't have to worry about how to you know how to do certain things or doing things blind. Um, because I, f I I guess I felt a little intimidated by uh, the Chugga Conroy types. It started being, um, and, and not to say that Chugga Conroy is a bad let's player. I, I I enjoy his videos immensely. I think it's more that he gets a lot of uh, a lot of traffic, and he researches when he does his, his videos. He he tries to find every single aspect of a game and document it in his videos. So um, definitely his Pokemon Platinum one, which is much more recent than. Uh, some of the ones that I was I watched back in the day, but oh, and that tree is gone. That tree is just pancake. <laughs> is this what America looks like? I, I don't even know. Definitely not at 4:30 anymore. Oh, I guess it's West Coast, so it's worse. Uh, uh, but if if any of you guys know what I mean, it, like he he has a lot of effort in his videos and. Uh, at various points, I could definitely kind of compete with that, but I put in a lot of a lot of work to make my my Pokemon Blue Let's Play like as good as it was. And fortunately, like Chugga never played like strictly first gen Pokemon, but I felt like yeah, when I started playing Gold at the end of 2016, I was like, man, I'm really not like conveying much more than uh, than what Chugga Conroy. Did, that kind of intimidated me a bit. Um, in the other game I played as well, like it, I felt a bit intimidated because I wasn't really too sure if I uh, even knew how good. Well, I, if I knew all the parts of a game, like people were telling me the Pokemon Blue, it's like, oh, you missed this, you missed this, you said this wrong, or some other ones. I, I took that a bit personally, and I probably shouldn't. Um, and that's why I'm playing Cruising USA now because it's like, here's a game, I'm open with it. I got no idea how to play it. It's been 12 years. I really don't remember. And I kind of like that. It, there's, I, I'm not trying to rush to play all these games that I've never played before, because I've played a lot of a lot of the goods. Cruising USA may not necessarily be one of them, but... Uh, this is a bit of a soft spot for games that I've played before to some extent. Um, and maybe that's just the thing, just going back and playing some games and just being casual about it, just chatting about it. I'm, I'm thinking that's... You know, that's something that I would like to do, um, and I'm doing it right now, so, uh, but yeah, I, I, I did feel like for my YouTube channel, I kept thinking like, oh, I haven't, you know, I hit that viral point, I have to really like do something to take off, uh, s something like that, so I started diversifying a bit, I had the weird kind of one-off videos just to try and spice up my upload schedule, you know, like a, a Christmas uh, video or uh, a weird song that happened sometimes. Um, there were some other ones in there, like uh, remember when I started? Oh, <laughs> remember when I started um, trying to? Well, if any of you guys remember, <laughs> but I, I tried uh, encouraging people to upload uh, custom F Zero tracks um, because I thought that would maybe take off, but it really didn't. From memory, the tools were pretty impressive on that, so I, I don't even know, man. That that was that was impressive to me at the time. Um, uh, there was ones where I encouraged people to just like do like one-off let's play videos with me because I saw like co-op channels were taking off. Um, uh, I then made my own co-op channel with a bunch of friends from from high school, and we made a few videos, but we never really uh, kept up too much with that. Uh, I tried doing music stuff. I, um, like, I, I started stretching myself out a bit too thin. Um, the video essay kinds of stuff, so the, the, um, uh, the Payday 2 video, the Cook Serve Delicious video, the Tropico video, um, then I tried just doing, like, a, a more, uh, I was gonna say donkey, but I feel like there's, um, I don't really know, actually, who I even tried basing my EA 2017 thing on, but that that was the last thing I ever uploaded to my channel. I had kind of stopped doing Let's Plays uh, around 20 and 2016, in fact, nearly this time four years ago, in fact, almost exactly this time four years ago, and he's catching up on me. Uh, oh boy. Um, 
So I had felt kind of intimidated and, and definitely uh, lost a bit of that original spirit of uploading videos. Um, and considering it's not a moneymaker, considering uh, that you know, the, the attention wasn't too, too great, and I 100% acknowledge that, but uh, the, the nail in it for me was the enjoyment, is that I was putting in all this effort, and I'm like, I don't really enjoy putting in all the effort, and I've kind of set myself up to do all the effort, so I put it on the back burner. Now, I didn't want to say the channel was dead, because I knew that there was value to it. I do have some form of audience, uh, and I'm very glad uh, that you are watching this right now, even if you are, you know, you're not watching it live, if you're watching it later on YouTube or the Twitch VOD while that's up, and while it's not DMCA strikes beyond belief. Um, you know, I, I'm very fortunate that you're watching this, but uh, I'd also say that, um, bar a bit of, you know, interaction, um, I think the, the most uh, worthwhile experience of this is just that soliloquy format. It's just me talking, just me, you know, expressing myself in some way. I just find that's, you know, a very nice thing um, to, to get out, to just like, to just... I have some have some forum that I just kind of go oh like am I really you know I don't I don't know how to think about but I don't know everyone's got like a bit of a bit of a an outlet of some kind and I've definitely got you know a nice group of friends to to bounce off of um, and and in fact quite a lot of other communities that I've gotten quite engaged with um, so that's nice but. Uh, I don't know, there's, there's something nice about just playing a game, you're talking out loud, and just, I don't know, hearing yourself back, and just going like, that's, I don't know, I don't know maybe, maybe I'm saying stuff that really doesn't mean anything, but, I don't know, to me, to me it seems okay. Feels kind of right. Uh, I, <laughs> yeah, that definitely, definitely, I'm, I'm feeling a bit of love right now, so that's good. Feeling a bit of love <laughs> where I just hear myself and see a message pop up about 10-15 seconds after I say something <laughs> about it. But that's uh, that's the goods, and that, and that's why I kind of thought the Twitch stream was the best way to kind of get back into it. Was uh, I had gradually felt a bit of something missing over over time. Um, I definitely, you know. Uh, wanted to focus on my my studies at uni. So for for people who didn't know, uh, in 2015, I or in 2014, I finished high school, um, and I believe I made that known. And I uh, said in some of my later videos that um, that I had started a degree doing software engineering, um, and uh, I don't think I really like struggled with the degree. Um, like there was some odd courses here and there and definitely you had to work hard for that but I wasn't like panicking that I wouldn't pass an exam I just kind of wrote it as I went along and you know, did enough to pass um, so I didn't really feel like I was stressed throughout doing uh, my degree but I did feel like uh, it was a lot of work and not really it wasn't really paying off to me like I didn't feel like I had an outlet. Um, but then yeah, I finished my degree in 2018, I was uh, working last year and I am still working this year, I am now full time, uh, and uh, to those who are um, very observant uh, to uh, bndao.com and other things uh, like my GitHub, um, like, I, I've used the name bndao to kind of, well, I, I've used the, the screen name bndao on close to work related things as well so um, it's not like I'm keeping my identity hugely secret um, but uh, yeah no it, it's just been me uh, getting into you know being a bit of an adult being and, and I guess that's something that me as a 12 year old starting let's playing I never really thought that I'd uh, that this format would particularly have uh, stayed so, I guess, relevant. Like, playing a, playing a video game to an audience, no matter how small, no matter how big, like, that's definitely kind of hit home with a lot of people. A lot of people stream on Twitch, um, even with, you know, like me, like five viewers right now, or, or no viewers, people 
just play a game and chat or do whatever, or just, you know, record what's happening to them. Um, like, it, it's very... I don't know, I don't know how to describe it. There's something with it. Maybe I'll, I'll figure it out later. I'll figure it out later. Um, but yeah, like, I, I just felt like after doing work, and work is a fair bit of a routine, even if it's something that I, I do hope I really, really enjoy, there's definitely that, that element of dread that you kind of get with your work, where, um, you know, that you, you do a bit of a grind away, you, you do, uh, oh, oh, oh boy, um, but I, I'm pretty sure those with the 9 to 5 job, um, and especially those coming straight out of uh, the uni studies or their high school work and hopping into the workforce. Um, for the first time, oh, a little bit, a little bit of the droppings. Uh, so much traffic here, wow. Um, oh, I was not paying attention. That's the Rocket League. That's the. Uh, Oh my gosh, I am the worst person in the world, except the AI also gets to, like, sit back and then do nothing for a bit. So I can definitely catch up to whoever's ahead somewhere. Um, but yeah, no, like, I, I definitely feel like, man, there's, you know, I finish work and then I do want to, you know, like, get into a good book, get into a good game. And I've definitely played a lot of a lot of interesting games uh, since. I've I've found um, uh, quite a lot of neat ones, um, just weird things that ended up sitting in my Steam library somehow, uh, or other just older you know, Lost Relic emulated titles. Um, there's definitely been some good stuff with that, but uh, I would you know love to have the ability to to share that with with people. And I feel like man, you know, I had. And I still do. Like, people didn't really unsubscribe from me, which I thought was actually quite interesting. Like, I upload my video, and I'm like, man, I've been gaining, like, at least eight subs a month, despite not having uploaded a video for three and a half years. Something, something weird's going on there, but sure, I'll take it. Um, and I, I'm very fortunate if you are a subscriber, I would recommend subscribing. By the way, yeah, I love how, like, there's eight races, like, in, like... California and, and uh, New Mexico there, and then suddenly, like, bam, you're in freaking, uh, what's that, South Dakota? <laughs> How did that happen? How do you end up in South Dakota all of a sudden? It's magic. And then you're just Iowa, straight up. The game, the game goes so quick, you thought you were spending forever driving across America, and suddenly, no, you're... <laughs> you, you literally drove over the flyover states. Oh, and this part, this part with the gates, that's the worst thing in the world. Yeah, no, I remember that, that's, that's pain. Yeah. Oh gosh. Um. So yeah, so I, I kind of had the feeling sort of, of coming back well, I, when I was doing the YouTube stuff, I had the feelings of, like, making a video, like, completely calling off the channel. Um, but then, yeah, I, I kind of was just like, you know, I'm just going to silently wait. I'll just see how I go. Um, and, uh, yeah, no, just very recently, like, in the last month or so, I just kind of felt, you know, like, I would love to, to revitalize this channel in some way. Um, and I think the biggest influence for that uh, was probably... Uh, call me a weed, but the, uh, oh. but, uh, all, all those virtual YouTubers, the, uh, I'd never really, like, sat down to, to watch them, but, like, you'd constantly see clips of, like, you know, things that they're playing and, and, and ways that they react to things, and, uh, there you go, thank you, <laughs> um, uh, like, the obvious... I guess comparison is they're just uh, you know like the the cam girls, but they're they're using face rig or some other kind of software to do the the character. Um, and to some extent, like yeah, like I'm curious how many people click onto the videos, going like, oh wow, it's an animated cute 
anime girl, and then, uh, you know, they, they stay around because I don't know reasons. Uh, but I just found, like, yeah, it was interesting because it's like, man, this is someone who just starts playing a game and has some personality. Even if that personality is 100% fictional, even if it is, like, they are just playing a character. If they're playing, you know, just like a virtual shark or a virtual, uh, time-traveling detective, like, they... There's a character that, and I know there's a corporate aspect to Hollow I don't know. Um, but they're, they're effectively, you know, being... Uh, I was going to say being themselves. Being, being uh, this fictional character being themselves. Um, and, and it kind of inspired me a bit, because I was like, man, you know, like... I really did enjoy watching a lot of like let's players back in the day because of their strong personalities and not necessarily because of the contents of the videos that they were uh well uh, that they were playing like you know as much as as much as i like proton john and i really wish he'd finished superman 64 i tried playing superman 64 i really hate the game it's really frustrating you gotta get good at it it takes a fair bit of getting used to it's really really annoying and you gotta do the whole levels without dying, and health is so infrequent, it's, it's incredibly annoying, that game. Uh, but, hearing, like, how... Uh, and I know John, actually, like, for those, uh, videos, he's probably put more work than some of his other ones, and he's definitely gotten it into the streaming game. Um, which I guess, like, half inspired me to, like, start trying to stream around, uh... The end of 2017, and then I did it for like a year and a bit. Um, but I never really like formally announced it. I think I've maybe said like one or two things on Twitter. Um, which by the way, I have a Twitter, twitter.com uh, slash me now. I uh, still caught up on the guy you chose. I, oh, legit? Legit? I've got no idea. I kind of went with like, oh, it's the one on the left, so there's something with it. And I know that the way the unlocks in this game works is that you effectively just play this race across the, the, the country thing in each car, and each car unlocks an upgrade for the car that you then drive it again in that one. Um, like, effectively, this is just an arcade game, and so it's a very uh, trivial way of kind of adding some replayability to it, but, you know, it's enough for a one-off I'm playing a video game on stream, and that's it kind of deal. Um, if there is a much better car, please tell me, because I'm probably going to play this game twice. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure this doesn't go on for too much longer. How did I beat this in three, like, ten minute YouTube videos? That was back when we had the eleven minute time limit. Like, it's been half an hour already. I've had maybe, like, a few, um, you know, like, pitches and, and starting. I didn't start right on 8.30, but it's, it's 9 o'clock now, and... Yeah. Oh, I did have to replay the thing once. I guess it was that. I wasn't playing with a turbo, was I? Hopefully not. Um. So yeah, so I just, I just felt like more motivated to get back into it and to just be casual, not trying to to out Chugger Conroy, Chugger Conroy, not trying to, you know, out out beat anyone else. I'm just gonna be myself. I'm just gonna, you know, speak my mind, say it as. Say it out as, you know, describe the game, describe what's going on in uh, my world and the world. Just things that I see it. And I feel like that's probably the, the calmest way that I can keep going on about, uh, keep going on? That sounds quite negative. I don't know how to describe it, but you, you know what I mean. Where it's like, I can, I can come back to this channel and just start being how I am. Uh... <laughs> I was telling, I was telling someone about about this. I think someone at work, and they were just like, "You're gonna, you're gonna like scream really loud." And I'm like, you know, like there's not a lot of games that I would out, I would outright like scream over. There's a handful. There's definitely some where I played, and it's just like something has been like so hilariously like cheesy or whatever, um, or like so jaw-droppingly like pretty cool. But ah, uh, oh, that man. Maybe. I, I do, um, I've been getting into Rocket League recently, um, and I do know that I, I scream quite a bit on that. 
but I'm a bit of a sucker for a sports game. Like, I don't play... I, 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 I only own one FIFA game, and that was FIFA 1998. Um, not the World Cup version as well, just the, just the regular one. Um, but I'm a sucker, like, I get engrossed into playing um, a good sports game. I don't have the greatest motivation to play every sports game. I am trying my best with F1, and anyone who's looked at this channel may have seen me playing F1 from time to time. Um, the Switch channel, that is, sorry. Um, uh, and yeah, they're all kind of the same game. They're all mostly take place in the same locations. Um, so I guess it is the uh, the annual sports franchise. I feel like there's, there's fair bits of differences with, with a, an annual driving game. Um, Oh, people are dead. Ah, <laughs> uh, but yeah, in general, like I don't know, I I, I play it pretty calm, um, and I don't know if I like, I can't. Okay, <laughs> I'm about to lose my marbles. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean. Um. Oh wow. Is the AI even trying now? I don't think they are. Uh, I can't remember, like... Oh, I will say, okay, there was one I said I did, and it, it's it's very disingenuous. Um, uh, when I played Final Fantasy VII, I had played through the game blind, I had never played the game, I would never seen any gameplay. But I knew, uh, cover your ears for three seconds if you haven't played the game and you really don't want to be spoiled. Uh, I never knew, I always knew Aerith died. <laughs> uh, you, you can uncover your ears now. Um, <laughs> like, everyone has leaked that. They always say it's the biggest plot twist. And I'm like, I knew that going in. So when I saw the character, I had internally gone, oh, I know this, this character's gonna cop it. But I'd kind of pretended the whole game, like, that, like, I was going 100% blind. I do remember kind of, like, fudging it on. Now, the scene itself, I didn't know the scene itself. So when it did happen, I was, I was surprised. But I knew that it would happen at some point. Um, so I guess that's one where, like, I do remember playing it a bit disingenuous. Um, perhaps that's a part of the experience. Part of, part of me going, like, you know, do I play up being on uh, YouTube? Because... Because that was around the time we started getting uh, the very over-the-top reactors. Um, but, I don't know, I've been out of the YouTube game for too long. Vietnam War Memorial, like, I love how, like, oh my gosh. I love how, like, that's the landmark. Is this the last track as well? I feel like it is, I'm pretty sure it is. Um. Oh. No Hillary Clinton in this game, though. Look it up, the arcade version, the Hillary Clinton on the dollar bills. I'm, I'm, I'm certain. I'm very certain. <laughs> um, oh yeah, and it's a race to the White House, so yeah. Yeah, the game finishes it. It doesn't even hit New York, it just stops in Washington. Yeah, it's a bit of a weird game, actually. There's eight of the tracks in two of the states, and then, like, six in the remaining rest of the country. Welcome to the Hall of Fame. Yeah. Twenty-two! And then, yeah, you're on the, the White House, and instead of being uh, with Bill Clinton in a hot tub, your car is just on the roof. And it gets an upgrade. That's, that's what you get, so you get the, the faster car. And this cow's on the roof of the White House. Oh, and then you get to bump up the difficulty. Should I do it? I'll do it. We'll see how we go. Welcome to the Hall of Fame. Cruising. Cruz USA. Oh, I cannot skip this. Well, that'll be quick. Um, so yeah, uh, yeah, ultimately I just want to get back into doing this kind of stuff, and then, 
yeah. So why I picked Cruising USA? Because I kind of wanted to play uh, one of my earlier games legitimately. And Cruising USA is one where uh, I don't believe anyone cares if I don't play the whole thing. If I just play as much as I feel is interesting. And I, I, I'll generally tend towards that. I, I'll, like... I remember there used to be a bit of a weird divide, like especially when the Game Grumps started being a thing, and they they adamantly were like, we're not let's play channels because we don't, um, I don't know, they don't they don't finish games. I don't even attempt to really play them the most legitimately. Um, and to some extent, I, I did get a bit of an elitist vibe on on my end, where I was like, oh, like I'm not a playthrough. I'm a let's play. I. You know, I commentate and I provide transformative work that uh, avoids <laughs> TMCA strikes and lets me use fair use all the time, despite me not crit critiquing the game very often. I feel like a hundred percent, or not hundred percent, but like a complete playthrough of the game uh, with barely any comments on it uh, is often not the uh, not the most descriptive. Toy Story Let's Play was life-changing. It's life-changing for me, uh, especially because I did it three times. That's how, that's how much of a life-change it was for me. Um, but I kind of agree where it's like I... Not, not necessarily that it was life-changing, but more that um, uh, it was... So you can head up and down and you get a slightly faster version. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, that was probably, like, the one, because that was a game that I had really, like, played as a kid. And then when I, uh, when I got around to, to playing it, um, and I'll still attest to this, like, I could not find anyone else who had played, uh, Toy Story 2 on YouTube at the time. So I was, maybe, the first person to play it. Obviously, uh, I think there's more popular playthroughs of the game, and I don't think I ever did it, uh, truly the most justice. I had played it once on the Nintendo 64 emulator, and I don't know how many people played the Nintendo 64 version. Um, I had never played it before, but it's fortunately the same game, uh, functionally, so that's, that's fine. Um, and then I played it once, uh, with my kind of half-camera setup, which it's fine for a PS1 game, uh, and then I had filmed it on, sorry, using a, a webcam or a, yeah, afterwards. I don't know, I got into this weird point where I you oh yeah, no, it wasn't a webcam. I, I had um, taken my mum's, uh, my mum had like a camcorder, uh, which, it was a crazy camcorder because it had like a 50 times like optical zoom. It had like a crazy zoom on it. Um, so I, I just lined that up, I just like, you know, set that up and away I'd go. Uh, I think I had set up the audio properly on my end. I think I had set up like the microphone and just kind of picking up the room. Um, and I, I definitely not want this. This car is not fast. Well, especially at that rate. <laughs> New hot time! Welcome to the Hall of Fame. That wasn't even the best time, yeah. Oh, is that like an actual, like, dead? Or, is, or did I just mash it, like, really fast? Because, I mean, it's the first race, it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, no, I, I definitely feel like a... Yeah, me playing Toy Story was quite cathartic. Maybe I'll play it again. Um, I can I, I can actually play through that game so quickly now. Um, so, maybe I'll do a, a run of it um, on stream once. I, there's a handful of games that I can play in like, single sittings that usually, like, a first run through wouldn't take that quick. Um, uh, humble brag, humble brag. But things like, um, like I had figured out how to play, how to, you know, 16 star run Mario 64, I've, uh, I've, I've beaten Half-Life 1 in less than two hours, I, uh, and I'm trying to aim for beating Spyro 1, uh, with 120, uh, percent, uh, really quickly, although I would like to maybe figure out the, um, the, the any percent, um, 
find a path because that one's kind of interesting because you've got a bunch of things you got to tackle. So just like, when you prioritize like getting what, that's always fun. Um, so that's a handful of games. Maybe I'll just go back and oh my god, I can't believe it! I can't believe they do this to me. Oh, oh. Okay, I've just got this purple guy. I've just got this purple guy and like. 12 seconds to catch up. Uh, Alright, here I go. Big sweep. Uh, yeah, boy. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> Big sweep. I love it. So, I'm pretty sure I have just talked for 43 minutes about uh, <laughs> why I'm doing this. And I'm pretty certain now people can write a, a biography on this and then go... Yeah, this guy really didn't say much. He just said the same thing like over and over again. It'd be a two-page biography, novella, if you will. Um, so instead, uh, I guess yeah, like Cruising USA is a bit of a weird game for me, just because yeah, I don't have any like strong attachments to it. But um, yeah, from what I know, it is a um, uh, it was surprisingly popular. Like it was. Notoriously outselling um, uh, Daytona. Um, it came out kind of soon ish. It came out around the time it was like Sega Rally. And that was back when I volunteered to write a DNA biography. Um, you can if you want. Maybe <laughs> fill out the Wikipedia page, padlock it, you know, all that stuff. Dude, what was. Was that one story about like how like a third of Wikipedia is written by one guy? Is that a legitimate thing? And all he does... What's your favorite guitar pedal? Um... Uh... I mean, if I just say, like... Wah... That's a, that's a cop-out answer. It's not even a wah. Right, also, as a non-guitarist, uh, what's my favorite guitar pedal? What? Do... Okay, real talk? Like, what if I put, uh, electronic drums through a pedal? Would that... Would that actually sound, like, really bad? Probably will. Probably would sound like pretty atrocious. Depends actually. If it's a if it's a delay pedal, maybe. That actually might be pretty nice. Nah. Oh, what's the what's the the one thing where you um you effectively like record a, a sample and then it just loops? What's that? Is that that um that's. Not necessarily a pedal, that's something like Phil Collins' drum sound that's put through a rack reverb. Yeah, yeah, it kind of feels like that. I found that out when trying to like mix my own stuff, is that my drums sound rather flat or oddly mixed, so I would like to figure out how to how to give the drums a fuller sound like as I listen to um as I listen to it. Maybe you can help me out on that. Um, mm. Now I remember as a kid, I, I remember seeing the bikini lady with the flag and then going like, Oh my god, this is, this is boobs. Oh. Um, I have gotten so desensitized to freaking with all that stuff, because I had, um, I remember as a kid I'd never, like, played adult games. I know, right? The worst I'd played, I'd played, like, Doom when I was, like, 13. Um, I remember playing Quake 3. When I was like 11. I don't I don't know how, but I remember playing it, but it was like a pretty nuded version. There wasn't like guts. Um, so maybe I played like a, a... Just some weird mod that had details turned down. So it's just like... Yeah. Uh, and then Quake Live was a thing as well. Around 2010, I think. Um, that's... That's uh, Bethesda's odd baby that it's somehow kept on the store page. Who knows, but, you know, I'd never really played, like, violent games, um, or really getting into violent media. I remember, I remember, like, always going, like, when my parents would, like, swear or something, I'd always go, like, no, 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 can't hear you, can't hear you. And, or, like, even if they said, like, damn, or sex, or god, I'd be like, no, oh, no, 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 no. Um, which, I don't know, really immature of me, I guess. <laughs> um, so... And then at some point, I don't know, I just started playing and watching more mature-related things. Um, 
And it's not necessarily... Oh. <laughs> That's incredibly disappointing. That's incredibly disappointing. <laughs> My life is a sham. My life is a lie. Just click continue and away you go. Reverse 101. Um, yeah, no, I... I don't really know, like, what, what changed at some point. Maybe high school. Maybe it was the fact that, like, everyone was swearing. Everyone was swearing like, freaking primary school. <laughs> I don't even, don't even know where all these people got it, but they'd always, like, freaking sailor's mouth in the back. And then I'd be like, ooh, and, and then everyone would think I was weird, and maybe that's probably why I got bullied on. Ha 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 But nah, it, it, like, I, I, I mentioned the bullying twice now, but that legit stopped when I was, like, 14. Like, we started getting to a point where it's like, eh, who cares? Like, you can't just bully the same guy for like several years. And I kind of felt the same. Like, there, there's some odd fellas, but, you know, you be who you are. You take everything, um, as it comes. And everyone is gonna be weird in their own ways. I know I am. I know a bunch of people who are. Uh, even if people seem like the utmost perfect figures, trust me. There's something weird about them, and that's okay. Uh, given it's legally sound. <laughs> we'll, we'll just say that, we'll just leave it at that, how about, how about that? I wonder if uh, any NSA people are watching into this. I've only got six viewers, so if you're an NSA agent, please uh, type in the chat. Um, uh, drive up those engagement numbers, like, subscribe. Uh, we'll leave a comment, because I keep forgetting this is coming to YouTube. Oh, hello, it's my fellow NSA user. How's it going? How How's the surveillance? Is it, is it going okay? You got it? You caught any bad guys today? Welcome to the Hall of ah, it's Average Twitch Viewer. Hello there, Average Twitch Viewer Fierce Daddy. I keep forgetting that you're <laughs> New South Wales gang. Dude. Can I can I say go the blues? Is that a topical thing to, to say right now? Have I just turned off all my Queensland audience by <laughs> by saying go the blues? I always find that's kind of weird, like the, the, um, uh, the strong team allegiance. I, actually, that's a, that's a fun one. There's, um, that tree is just gone. This, <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Absolutely whoop Queensland, apparently. I wish I had watched it. Maybe. Turn off your non-Australian audience. Uh, for the non-Australians, we have, uh, Rugby, it's like NFL, but completely not the same sport at all. But just imagine it is. Just imagine it's 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 meta the same same deal. Uh, we had our effectively our All Stars game where uh, two of our states, New South Wales and Queensland, face off in hiring people who are definitely not born or living in those states. And then at some point, uh, out of three matches, one of them wins two of them. To which then they get this trophy cup and people. Forget about it in a week. I think that basically sums up the state of origin. Oh, and you get KFC burgers where they dyed the patty blue or, or brown. You get that. Oh my gosh, catch up, please. Please. How do I win when he drives like that? How do I catch up? Just stop. Please. Is he kidding me? Like, what do you do? What do you do? Well, you drive again, and then you do a different outcome the second time. A different outcome the second time. Welcome to the Hall of Fame. Continue. Ready? Set, so, yeah, I guess that's topically uh, something that's going on. But yeah, I I always find like sports teams or really any kind of major. Uh, Team affiliation, uh, it's a 
to be a, a fun one because uh, I'm not really too sure uh, what binds a person to a team. I, I, I don't know. For rugby, I always see like people jumping between teams each year. I've got, I've got like rest of family who's interested in it. It's like one of them's like into Canberra Raiders one one year, then they're into uh, South Sydney the next. Maybe I'll choose a team that wins. This is when all my Victorian viewers go like rugby. Yeah, revel in it, guys. I know the storm won. Revel in it. Storm never win, okay? This is the first time in so long that they've won. <laughs> so I might as well also elephant in the room. Um, uh, if anyone uh, has... Oh, did that sand actually slow me down? Like, okay, well... Now it's out. Now it's out. Okay, if he's driven so far ahead, do I turn left three times? Is that the ending? Is that actually the ending? Like, if I drove forward enough, I'd hit back to where I was before. Okay. Um. Hmm. One day, one day, I'll get this. I do want to get this. I really do want to get this. <laughs> Six, thank you very much, minus two. Has Melbourne not won that many grand finals? I swear they've won, like, so many. Maybe they've reached so many grand finals? Maybe that's a thing? But I swear they've, they've ended up in so many, especially, like, recently. Oh my goodness. Imagine driving on the road and suddenly a guy rear-ends you and you spin and then you immediately knock down a freaking 180-year-old tree. Oh, this is the worst thing I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> uh, they reached a lot. They're also... Oh, they were only founded in 97? Oh, okay. That explains. That explains why they, they get these, these numbers, because they're a very recent team. So, I, I guess, so the elephant in the room, if you uh, follow my Twitter, is that uh, I've gotten into uh, writing uh, code-related mods for uh, a game called Clone Arrow. Clone Arrow being a Guitar Hero recreation using uh, Unity. And um, uh, I guess that's, that was a bit of an interesting venture. I'm still, like, kind of into it. Um, but I definitely, I've slowed down my efforts just because, oh, don't. No, why? That's the end, it's right there. I'm not having the good. I'm not having the good. Am I doing the time? Is my time okay? Like, I guess that's one to compare with. Like, that's third hop. My, my record time's 134. What have I done wrong? Why is this taking 10 more seconds than it did in the past? You have to wait for it to fly all the way up to the top. I must have gotten a pretty good time just before, but... Hmm. Very odd. Ready, set, go. Did I game over on this one the first time? I can't even remember. Um, but yeah, no, so... Modding Clone Arrow has been kind of interesting just because... Uh, yeah, I, I had some ideas on how to do it, and I had seen... Um, I would seen some mods earlier of like, oh, you can you can change the, the color of the, the things, and uh, in theory you can do whatever you want. And I'm like, oh, cool, like maybe I can, you know, just do something basic, like, oh, like log some stats about the song, maybe like, oh, you know, what is the, the seven star score, how much time is left in the song, that kind of stuff. Um, I always overshoot that, and this guy did not pass me as I did that, so that's remarkable. Um, so I, I had found a Discord all about doing this, and I had conveniently found a, um, you know, some, some tips on how to get into it. A fair bit of assistance from 
uh, someone who did some mods and then eventually became an actual developer on the game, so, so that's neat. Um, but it's been interesting just because, like, uh, y you get a lot of, like, that immediate attention. People want to, you know, try out your mod, people want to install it. Uh, I've, I've found this out with, like, releasing whatever the, you do software-wise. A lot of people really don't use your program the way that you intend to, which, uh, to some extent is okay, because it lets you find bugs. And then, to some other extent, it's really annoying that you have to tell people the same error message every time. It gets a little annoying. It comes with the territory. I guess y you go with that, so... But it, it's, it's kind of interesting as well, because um, cause a, a popular Clone Arrow streamer by the name of uh, Akai started using um, some of the mods. And uh, yeah, he, he like name-dropped me in the stream, I like showed up, I just kind of said like, hi, in the stream. Um, and it was kind of like a bit of a claim to... F <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. I do want to become famous, uh, I don't know if I want to do it with that typeface though. Um, did you use a bit.ly and then like an actual link as well? That's amazing. That is actually amazing. I do want to do a little bit of investigative work on whatever the heck that domain is. Oh, okay, legit, legit. I, I had a friend, friend from uh, my uni. I still catch up with a lot of people from my uni. Um, but, uh, we had, like, a database leak, like, uh, last year, and we're all, like, not, not, uh, as in, like, uh, I think it was a student union or something. Like, they, they leaked, like, a lot of people's phone numbers, email addresses, whatever. Um, and so now, like, I'm on, like, the spam list for so many things. Uh, one of my friends got a, uh, like, a spam link, which was, like, uh, you had a parcel, like, attempted to be delivered, but, uh, it had, um, you haven't paid your, uh, your customs tax, uh, which is such a classic. <laughs> I'm on the right side of the road. Jeez. Um, and then it gave him a, a link, and, and I, I did a name server look up, and I'm like, holy crap, this domain was, like, registered five days ago. This guy has bought a domain, and not even five days later he's trying to scam people with it. It, it looks so sus as well. It's like a random combination of four alphanumeric characters. Uh, .com. I'm amazed that you get, like, you got that for a .com and you immediately go for the, the spam tactic. I don't think I've got this because it ends yet. Ends up. Um. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. I, I, like, there's some extent of, of, uh, maybe, maybe I'll, I'll demonstrate, um, Oh, I don't want to say demonstrate some programming in the sense of like proving that I can do it because oh, I've got to get up to shower and I can just talk about it and it's not like it's really interesting to do it on stream but I, I, there's, there's definitely been like just like a change in how I approach things given that training, given, given all that, um, you know, work towards, uh, writing software and that kind of stuff and I love just going like, oh, some guy's like spamming me, like, in the past I'd go, oh, I'd never click it, like, it's malicious. And now I'm just like, is there a way that I can abuse this link so hard that they would rather not have their link go out to anyone anymore? Um, because ultimately, if you own, you know, your virus name server, you have to have a server that can accommodate that many people, or like a number of people accessing it. You can 100% deny service to phishing links if you really wanted to. We can we can all band together, we can ping the heck out of these these phishing links, and together we will stop uh, <laughs> internet scamming. Maybe not. It's like there's an infinite number of hooks in the sea. Ah, oh, you've got to be kidding. Um, that kind of that kind of stuff. So it's very impractical. But for this one guy, it was it's fun just like looking it up and going like. Uh, like, oh, like, we can figure out that this guy's from, uh, Cambodia of all places. You can register domains in Cambodia. Did you know that? I never knew that, so... Uh... So, yeah, but... Yeah, no, Clone Arrow modding has been, uh... It's been pretty alright, like... I don't really have too much to say about it, because, um... I guess, uh... 
like my mods kind of speak for themselves. I've got my GitHub if any of you do programming and are curious or just want to see what's going on. Uh, GitHub.com slash Bandao. If I have the name Bandao, it's most likely me. Most likely. There's some services that it's not me. But most of them it's me. So. Or most of them it's unclaimed, so. Um, but no, yeah, it, it, it's just it was just interesting because um, like within this community of people, I was doing something that uh, definitely someone had done before, but it kind of laid dormant um, a bit, and I did a bit of you know like kind of trailblazing, just trying to find out like okay, well if I can write this kind of mod, like can we go one step further? Can we try and implement? this kind of functionality, can we keep going? And, and so instead of just finding some info about a couple of game structures, it was now invoking, uh, you know, game functionality. It started being, uh, can I load in my own assets? Can it be, can it be, uh, uh, you know, modifying some game functionality? And I don't believe I've done, like, I don't believe I've taken out functionality of the game, but I've definitely now, got it so it's doing code uh, as other code gets called uh, which has greatly improved my performance because um, I used to be like polling stuff every frame um, so that's all good um, you know it's, def it's definitely neat um, I'd recommend oh boy don't do this to me okay I'm a bit faster than this guy it's just the blue guy the blue guy is my issue and he's right behind me I know it Oh boy! Woo! Woo! Losers! They're big losers! They all got wrecked. They all got wrecked. Oh boy. New record time. So. Uh, I don't think I'd really gotten into anything else that went, like, too public. I've got a Discord bot, but I don't distribute it, um, publicly. Maybe I will? Maybe? I don't know. Code's on GitHub, like, you can get your own Discord developer bot code and then... Oh, boy. Oh. <laughs> you can get your own uh, Discord developer bot code, just kind of slot it into the config, uh, and uh, away you go, running my Discord bot, but... Uh, my specific instance, I don't think I've got the the, um, the invite public on that one. Oh. This difficulty just suddenly is like, oh. Oh. I, it's a tight squeeze every time. Uh. And that one's fun. Um, I actually, today, uh, I'd realized that, uh, was it, .NET 5 came out um, a couple of days ago. Uh, granted, I don't use any of its features, but I always think it's good that if I can, you know, upgrade it to a newer runtime, I'm gonna keep it on that. Um, I don't know, just because it's a bit of a hobby program, so I feel like just supporting the latest and then going from there, like if I can, then sweet. <laughs> it just yeeted him out. He's gone. Oh. Oh boy, I got the blue guy at the ver at the very front. Uh, so unless he crashes by going off screen, like both of them just did. Oh no! I hate this game. I actually hate how like kind of luck driven. Oh, how luck driven the the, the, the traffic is. It just. Get, it gets in your way so hard, and now and now we're waiting for the train, and now I'm about to win. Wh how did this happen? How did this happen? What? <laughs> what? I don't even know. I've got no idea. I've got no idea. Imagine being in the arcade and you pull this kind of stuff off. People are gonna look at you funny. People are gonna go, "What? Did you just crash into like 18 people and then still manage to win?" Like. I took 25 more seconds than, like, the last time. I still won. I still won. It's crazy. Arizona. Ugh. 
know what's amazing? Since I played Cruise in USA last, I've been to the US twice. Maybe once the big run is done, uh, which it's looking like it's it's done. If we're getting vaccines, like starting to uh, enter public uh, distribution, like you're not even testing anymore. You, I wasn't paying attention. Uh, like if you're going for it, I'd say yeah. Like the, these vaccines probably go uh, for enough testing, so I think it's good. It's finally done. got opinions on the whole uh, debacle, but uh, I will leave it at hopefully aircraft can go zoom. Then I can take a flight and go to visit many great places. That will be neat. Um, yeah, like, I... Man, I found 20, 2020 to be a very, very interesting year, uh, and not because of the Big Rona. As much as, like, people say, like, Big Rona is, like, a big change in lives, which I'm not going to even deny that it, it is. Like, a lot of people, you know, lose their jobs, have different jobs now, have changed their work. Like, I work at home all of a sudden. Uh, thanks for the follow, man. Um, uh, a lot of, a lot of people, you know, their lives are kind of... Kind of changed by this and I, I, I do agree but I think the the biggest thing for me has been uh, I don't know I felt a very like cultural change of this whole like people are very uh I guess reliant on maybe maybe this is me as a developer people are very reliant on service thank thank you for the follow Papa. there you go except I know you up don't worry you too. You too, Mr. Smudge. I know, yeah. Don't worry. You know what I just realized as well? I I am at 49 followers, which means one more and I can apply to be a, uh, a Twitch um, partner or affiliate. It's the lower of the two. You need 50 subs, you need 50 followers, and then you need uh, to stream on 7 days in, uh, in 30 days. 8 hours total, at least, and then have an average, like, watcher count of 3 people. Uh, currently I think we're at 7, so that's nice. Um, <laughs> the monetization is like a neat aspect, and definitely like, oh, you know, do things that do drive engagement. That's, that's generally what, uh, these Twitch, uh, things are encouraging people. Oh no. Okay, I'm taking it. I'm going. I don't think. I... Yep. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> cool. How far off am I? Very far off. Is this guy gonna crash? Oh, he's right in front of me, isn't he? There he is. You do just have to let him go in front, like near the end. That's the only. That's the most reliable way to win. Is to purposefully crash, purposefully take yourself out, and then just, like, just, just wing it. Leg it, leg it really hard. So, yeah, the, the, the Twitch engagement, um, like, I'm not really too fuss. I, I do intend to do, like, the mild form of monetization, so I've got a PayPal, I've got, um, uh... YouTube ads to some extent. I don't do the before video ads. I've never done before video ads. If I have before video ads on my videos, please call me out on that because I really don't want to do that. But the worst, I hate, I absolutely hate, you turn on a video and you turn on a video and you're not watching the video. You're watching something else. You're watching uh, YouTube advertising is very weird because anyone can now you know, buy their own spot. I'm not getting like, you know, government ads or whatever, or, or a video game commercial all the time. I'm getting, uh, like, weird food ads for food places I don't eat at, or whatever. Uh, some of this is due to me disabling my YouTube history and my Google search history and all these other things that uh, they say, uh, you know, helps you 
you know, remind yourself of certain things, but mostly it's with personalization. And I'm like, I get kind of afraid with personalization, not because I'm, you know, I'm afraid that I have a loose wallet and I'll just buy whatever, but because I get very frustrated when it's something that is slightly off. Like, I don't like being told what I should like. I kind of would like just, like, finding out myself. Just finding out the engagement myself, which is a, it's a general thing that those who know me, uh, you know, it's a big character trait of mine. To be very headstrong about that, that kind of stuff. Jeez, how do you... I should have gone left. I, I thought this guy in front of me was like... Oh boy, there we go. I thought he was like way ahead of me. I know, he was just right at the edge of the, the draw distance the whole time. <laughs> but no, don't, don't you guys, like, maybe experience that? I don't know. I, I, YouTube actually went down earlier today, um, which was like such a, such a bit of a spook because I had, um, I, I uploaded the, um, the stream announcement to YouTube and then YouTube, it was very intermittent. It would load all these pages, but the actual video content wouldn't load for me. Uh, and that, uh, that was a little, a little spooky, a little bit worrisome to some extent. Um, because I was like, oh no, like, am I not getting the engagement? Are people not going to see the, the rest of my, uh, or not going to see my 18 second video where I just announced that I'm doing, uh, this? I'm just not messing it afterwards, I'll maybe reuse it later. Um, <laughs> Oh, except I mentioned Cruising USA, and I'm probably never playing this game again for another 12 years, aren't I? Maybe I'll privately, like, try and unlock everything, but it is, it is the same game over and over again. You play, you play through it once. It's a very simple game as well, like... Like, I'm surprised this did outsell Daytona. I guess visually it's pretty, you know, for 94, and given a little bit of higher texture detail. Were the textures any detail? I think it was just a resolution thing, more so. And the music's a lot better on the on the um, arcade version. Uh, but in general, like yeah, there's a, a 30, 40 minute ride through the U.S. Ah, oh, what is that? Um, and then you hit the end, and then usually the arcade tells you you won. Uh, which is remarkably, uh, easy. Like, if you had $12 or 12 quarters, you could lose every single race, and then you'd still get to the end. Oh, uh, how do you, how do you, like, slot yourself in there? Alright, I'm second. There's not much track left, and there's no hope in the world. My, my enthusiasm, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? How far ahead is he? How far ahead was he? Jeez. I had crashed so much, so I'm not surprised. Um, but now, yeah, yeah, maybe this will be one that I just kind of finish in my own spare time. There's a lot of odd games I had played uh, in this four year interim when I was just like, hey, I can casually play a game and not being like one of the two games that I'm playing at once. Um, uh, it's, it's a bit of a weird, um, not a weird thing, but it's something where, yeah, the, those Let's Players where they play through an entire game, like, if the game gets boring, there were a few times when I called it, when I was like, oh, I'm gonna go for 100%, and then I got really bored trying to go for 100%. Uh, but there may be times when it's just I play a game, and yeah, it's not interesting to really finish. Um, and I do kind of want to, like, make this a bit self-interested, but on the flip side, I think that will lead to more engaging commentary, because there were some times when, um, when I would just absolutely tune out. I would be 100% like just like, oh, I'm just playing this game, but I've got really nothing to say. Um, yeah. I don't think I really answered the whole like why 2020 is different. I, I think it is, yeah. The reliance on other services. Um, so the YouTube thing, that was one. Um, like YouTube algorithms. 
I personally do not use Facebook. I do use Twitter, although I do try and opt out of any uh, things. I, I do look at trends. I guess it's that. I guess I get sucked into that. Um, uh, I watch Reddit. I don't really... Like, I've got a pseudonym account that I post under on Reddit, and every time I post on Reddit, I always get the, like, nearly the worst comments back. There's been times when it's been pretty okay, but in general, like... Yeah, nah, but my Reddit luck is not very... not very high, so... Uh, Twitter's one where I just don't often get, um, get it back. I think it's because uh, Twitter's full of memes and... a little bit of porn? A little bit. Uh... And then simultaneously you've got, like, businesses attempting to respond through Twitter, and it's this wonderful divide. Like, Twitter's a fun one, just because, like, I don't even know what they're even, like, targeting. And they're a sinking ship. They're, they're losing money somehow. It's crazy. I think it's because they've got, like, all these extra services to try and compete with... Uh, with like Facebook and stuff, and then in doing so, they now have much higher bandwidth costs and not really any more engagement. Like, Twitter videos are nice. Uh, Periscope, I guess, is nice, but uh, are people like using Twitter instead of other services because of Periscope? I feel like not too many. And I have created. Final Destination 2, in one fell swoop. How did that happen? Is Final Destination 2 the one with the car crash? Pretty sure it is. This is when someone goes like, ah yes, so... Wondo comes back on and all he does is... Mention that he's a mature person while he plays Cruising USA, a game that is almost as old as him. You know it's a weird realization that I've, I've had for a few days? Is that... Like, m my video playing Cruise in USA is older than I was at the time. Which half is like, yeah, I was really young. But also like, man, that was forever ago. That actually was forever ago. I have gone through like, so much like hardware changes. I've moved the house a couple of times. I like, I was in primary school when I was recording that. Uh, I then like finished high school. I finished uni. I like, had a few jobs. Like, you know, life's a bit crazy. Don't do this to me. No. Oh, that's disappointing. The worst part as well is that, like, I'm getting worse times than when I was on the easy difficulty. I wonder if it's the traffic. Maybe just turn off the traffic. Maybe that's, that's how you do it. I'll get this. Don't worry. I'm getting there. I know I said I'd, I'd stream for an hour. Um... But I do want to get this. I'm nearly at the end, because I'm pretty sure, was it... Uh, is it Washington right after this? I'm pretty sure it is. Probably. We'll see. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, like, it's... It's kind of bizarre to me, and, and... Maybe one where, like... I don't really want to have stuff set in, like, as I'm doing it. So... But I also feel like there's absolutely no, like, um, I guess, impact of, like, oh, I'm getting back into, you know, revitalizing the YouTube channel, revitalizing uh, my Twitch. Um, nothing's really, like, set in for me yet. It kind of feels just natural, even though I am just talking to myself and not hearing anyone talk back to me. Um, I think it's because I have a very supportive group of friends that lets me rant so much. I miss the days. I have missed the days of the, the soliloquy YouTube. So, um, so I think I did mention like those virtual YouTubers. Um, yeah, no, that's a, they're a good inspiration. I don't feel like getting into. I got a little little antsy about like people who are traditionally like. Especially people who are traditionally attractive people who always have done webcams and are suddenly getting into like virtual YouTuber stuff. Uh, that's one where I kind of raise some eyebrows. Um, but I do agree 
where, uh, like, you know, the virtual YouTuber is a way to effectively do the You have got to be kidding. You've got to be kidding. Okay, well, it's good enough. We're good. We're good. Don't worry. Don't panic, guys. We're fine. Um. Yeah, like, it. it's an interesting phenomenon. I guess anime in general, like, just any of that. The internet's a weird place, man. I can't get over it. I can't get over how, like, bizarre the internet is. Is this Washington? Are we done? Almost? Here we go, like, I Indiana! We're going Indiana first. Sorry, guys. It, it never ends. The ride never ends. Oh, yeah. You go through the tolls again, and you don't run over cows in the Nintendo 64 version. Mmm, mmm, that's a squeeze. So I wonder if this is, like, intentionally harder on the harder difficulty levels and, like, impossible to beat unless you've got the better cars. I wonder if that's, like, a legit thing. This car is so, like, marginally better, though, it really doesn't matter. They just painted it blue. That's how they made it faster. There's a lot of driving games that do that as well. I love, like, Gran Turismo 2. It's, it's a classic one, where, like, you can get... You can, uh, put a racing... I really should, like, stop looking over at the chat every time I'm on a straight. That's when all the cars come on to me. Um, but it's like, yeah, you can put a racing modifier on your car, which gives it, you know, a nice livery, but also, like, Makes it super duper powerful. I'm like, it, like the paint, I guess. Paint's powerful. Oh yeah, so many like good games have come out since I even like started um, stop doing all this stuff. I've got a lot that I could like talk about, and I kind of don't want to jump onto another topic just because I know I'm gonna uh, be done with this uh, in a moment. Um, you know, yeah, yeah no, I, I, I enjoy Cruising USA. I, I kind of enjoy a bit of a schlocky driving game. I've played so many schlocky driving games, and I'm very, I guess, like, tolerant on, like, even, like, the more average ones. Like, yeah, me playing, <sighs> effectively, the entire Codemasters, uh, videography. Um... Codemasters, by the way, recently got bought by Take-Two Interactive, so... And they also themselves had bought Slightly Mad Studios, so Project Cars is now... Uh, published by 2K. Almost, maybe. Or Rockstar, one of the two. Isn't that weird that 2K and Rockstar are owned by the same company? That's, that's crazy. Dude, Big, Big Corp is, like, the strangest thing. I never understand like how how all of these companies get so so massive. I guess it's it's the advertising. That bumps Google. And then I don't know, I guess they've got investors. People look at it and go, you're like, I wanna give it some money, it's gonna grow and then I expect that I can cash out at some point when it's worth more. But a lot of people just kinda hold it because like Google keeps getting big. And a lot of other companies. Microsoft, Amazon, uh, what's the, what's the, um, the acronym for the, the big five, and it doesn't include, uh, Microsoft for some reason. It was like Facebook, Amazon, Apple, is it Apple? I think so. Um, I don't know if they said Alphabet, in, like, instead of Google. Uh, I forgot what the C was, but it's a big company of some kind. But yeah, like, there's companies out there like Uber, where it's like, they don't make money at all. They, they really don't, like, charge people enough to make money out of the cost of their servers. Um, and, I mean, kind of rightly so, like, if you pay for a taxi service, the last thing you want to do is be paying for, like, an hour of server time as well. No one wants to do that, and that's, that's a fundamental that, uh, people who invest in Uber acknowledge, that that money is going towards the big thing. There we go, watch it. It's going towards the big thing. Um, 
which is most likely self-driving cars, but uh, self-driving cars will be fun. Uh, you're on that's in general. It's not, it's not like my huge like area of expertise, but I did do a fair bit of studying on it. And it's just like, man, like, the worst part is that neural nets, like, are in the infancy of hardware acceleration. So, like, people have their own differing architecture standards, although we do have, like, a lot of software-based versions that then everyone built the hardware-based, uh, versions around, so we fortunately got, um, that being leveraged. Um, but there's, yeah, like, the crazy part is that, like, five years ago, it was like, oh, like, you can, or oh, maybe not five, but like six, seven years ago, it's like, oh, you can, you know, you can train, uh, more complicated systems and create just, like, some things like, oh, here's a, here's an AI for a game, and it does pretty okay, and then suddenly, like, two years later, it's like, and now not only does it perform okay, it starts competing with like top tier humans and then it beats top tier humans and it's like what how when Ooh, okay and then it's like and it's also creating art and it's also i came second i came second right at the end oh i hate that it ends right on the curve there as well that's that's a killer that's a killer um but yeah, like, neural nets in general, like, and the worst part as well is that, like, the neural net is such an idea, and so it becomes such a big buzzword. Like, a lot of, a lot of investor types look at the word neural net and they go, like, this is, this is the big thing. And it's like, neural nets are kind of expensive. They are gradually and quite quickly getting cheaper, but Google's probably got, like, you know, uh, several tens of thousands, probably hundreds of thousands of dollars, um, dollar, like, distributed machine, by the way, like, not even one machine, like, literally a lot of machines distributing workload to create AlphaGo, and then to eventually create AlphaGo Zero, and then eventually Alpha Zero. um, like, they've, they put a lot of effort into it. Like, I, I studied this for my thesis, and I came to the conclusion that, yeah, if you are one guy with a um, with a, it probably was like a $2,000 rig at the time. Um, if you're one guy with a $2,000 rig, the best you can do is beat me who has no idea how to play the game. Uh, you can create something that, uh, leverages, actually, it did, the neural net performed worse. I couldn't train the neural net to spot trends well, uh, so it inevitably had to rely on the more algorithmic ways of playing, and in doing so, it still beat me. This is a really short level, isn't it? Um, but, uh, which I, I'd say, like, testament, it's like, a good algorithm goes a long way, and there's surprisingly, like, really good algorithms at, like, at guessing. There's really good algorithms or at, at generalizing. Like, uh, my Go algorithm was basically, like, make a, a random move, and then, oh sorry, like, uh, for every move that you could possibly do, simulate, like, full games from that, and then the one that kind of tends towards winning the most is generally the best move. There's a little bit of, uh, you know, logic that you can do to say, okay, well, should I continue verifying something that looks okay, or should I try and find... Uh, branches that I haven't tested as much. There's a little bit of that where you've only got so much time uh, to compute, so you do something like that. Um, but in general, it was like, yeah, like just randomly like simulating matches worked. Speaking of working, me not reaching the end in time. I'm still third, but uh, unless they crash a ton ahead of me, this would be a fun one to catch up on. I can't do this like massive freaking like hit shit, that always gets me. What do you intend to, to do around that? I don't even know. Oh my gosh, is that first, second, third? Oh, okay, alright, alright, I'm gonna swim it. I'm gonna swim it. I'm gonna swim it. 
I swimmed it. Ah, oh, can't believe it. Can't believe I am the worst person in the world at this game. People are probably watching. You guys are probably watching this back and going like, "Oh boy, oh boy." Cannot believe it. Welcome to the Hall of Fame. I'll get this. I will get this. Don't worry. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Ultimately. So, ultimately. Uh, I think neural nets are a little bit out of reach. Uh, at least in taking over the world. There's... Uh, the worst part is that if you add one thing, you generally double the amount of work required to create or to, to train something that works off that one thing. Now, granted, our hardware is getting really, really good, so an existing model can take drastically less time than they did in the past. Um, but then to that, it's like, well, is an existing model smart enough? Uh, if not, which quite often, uh, for what I see some, you know, some people try and apply some on that stuff on. There was a, there was a company that tried uh, employing me, like, under a grad program, and they were basically like, creating some neural net stuff from scratch and I looked at it and went like that is that's a bit beyond and also like a grad program as well like <laughs> the, the worst part is that if I accepted I'd have like absolutely zero say in, in uh, how this works yeet there we go first try first try So, yeah, but I know, I've seen some exciting stuff with me on that stuff. The voice synthesis things are very impressive. The, the deep fakes, I feel like there's enough tell with deep fakes at the moment that uh, I don't think they're really a huge issue right now. But the voice stuff, the voice stuff is scary because, like, there's a lot of examples of, uh, of like, things you can have that have no video. All you gotta do is just have that voice, apply some real-world filtering on it to make it sound like it happened in a real place. And then, uh, oh boy, we could have some fun things ahead. But enough about existential neural net stuff. You gotta play on the highest difficulty in order to really get- oh my goodness. I hope this car is worth it. Welcome to the Hall of Fame. And the worst part as well is that I think I took like 20 seconds longer than the last one. I did! I was slower than the last one. Well, I'll go with another credits. So, yeah. I feel like Cruising USA is a very neat game. I'd probably give it a bit of a small recommendation. It's a bit, it's kind of clunky and kind of easy-ish. Like, for me, who hasn't played the game too much, like, this Nintendo 64 version is very, very, uh... Very, very, um, forgiving. Uh, because it lets you just retry the one race over and over again until you come first. If you don't come first, obviously it's a bit tough, but... Eventually you'll get it. Just a bit of luck and the enemies crash out so hard. Uh... It's weird as well, because, like... This was kind of when, yeah, when arcade-style games were a bit on the out. But I'd never really, like, gotten into too many arcade-related games. Maybe a few. Maybe, like, a, a pinball title. And Mega Race. Oh boy. We'll get around to that, maybe. Um, what will I play next? I'm, I feel like going through a bit of the list of, of uh games that I played way long ago on my YouTube channel um, will be interesting. Maybe not every single one of them. Um, definitely not every single one of them. Uh, <laughs> but definitely going through some of the ones that I didn't play legitimately. Um, I just feel like, you know, there's something a bit cathartic about coming back to it and then going, like, this was actually how the game was intended to be played. Doesn't this have, like, a really cool intro? Like, they drive through the thing. It's like cruising. It's, it's, it's that, isn't it? Yeah. It's so iconic. That's so good. And it doesn't play the music unless you hit start. But it's so good. Yeah. 
Alright, well, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope this has been a good stream. I hope uh, you've enjoyed this. And I hope you will watch, stay around for some more stuff uh, when I get around to it. So, until then, thank you guys very, very much. Oh yeah, it, it's definitely been, been pretty good fun. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm very certain that one of my videos has my face somewhere in it. Fortunately, I haven't gained weight. Maybe. I've definitely gained a lot of weight. Take it back. I'm absolutely massive.